Imam Zainul Abidin says, these are the people that Allah has given them so much of intellect and understanding and knowledge that sarat bihil ghaybatu indahum bi manzalatil mushahada. For them, seeing Imam and not seeing Imam is the same. وَجَعَلَهُمْ فِي ذَلِكَ الزَّمَانِ بِمَنْزِلَةِ الْمُجَاهِدِينَ بَيْنَ يَدَيْ رَسُولِ اللَّهِ صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَعَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمْ بِالسَّيْفِ They are considered by Allah like mujahideen in the time of the Prophet who were defending Islam in its time of loneliness when Muslims were very few and they had all Quraysh and tribes of Arabs against them in that time of Islam being very weak. They defended the truth. They defended the message of God. Allah treats these people even if they are not involved in any fight or battle, just they are fulfilling the requirements of believing in Imama, Allah rewards them like those Mujahideen. Maybe this person is a doctor, is an engineer, maybe a teacher, maybe a housewife, a driver, a cook, whatever. But Allah considers them as those who did jihad in front of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Why? Because they have such understanding and such deep sense of responsibility. They are ready to do what is needed. You know, compare them to the Shia in the time of Amir al-Mu'mini How much Amir al-Mu'mini suffered from those Shia? We are not talking about non-Shia. That's clear. But even some Shia were not listening to Amir al-Mu'mini You know, how much Amir al-Mu'mini suffered? How much he felt lonely? Those who were in the time of Imam Hassan How Imam Hassan was really alone. But now we have Shia in the time of Ghaybah that Amirul Mu'minin or Imam Hassan are not talking to them. Imagine someone like Amirul Mu'minin talking to them and they were not listening. But in this time there is no such conversation, no such meeting, no such blessing. They read books, they listen to ulama. But they are more prepared than those people who are listening to Amir al and watching Amir al muminin face to face. How much understanding, how much commitment is here? Then Imam Zainul Abidin says, Ula'ika al mukhlesuna haqqa. These are people who are really mukhles. Who is Mukhlis? Mukhlis is the one who not only does his actions or her actions with sincerity, but more. Mukhlis is someone who has tried to purify his heart. Nothing other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is in his or her heart. A person narrates this beautiful hadith from Imam Sadiq salam about the ayah يَوْمَ لَا يَنْفَعُ مَالٌ وَلَا بَنُونٌ إِلَّا مَنْ أَتَى اللَّهَ بِقَلْبٍ سَلِيمٌ Imam Sadiq according to this hadith said الْقَلْبُ السَّلِيمُ الَّذِي يَلْقَى رَبَّهُ وَلَيْسَ فِيهَا أَحَدٌ سَوَاهُ قَلْبِ سَلِيمُ A healthy, pure heart is the one that meets his Lord without 
anyone else being there is fully dedicated to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Imam Hussein alayhi salam says in Dua Ya Arafah, Ilahi antal ladhi azalta al aghyar an quloob ahibbaik hatta lam yuhibbu sabak. You removed anyone other than yourself from the heart of your lovers. They don't love anyone other than you. Yes, through you, under you, they love others. If you want to love more, if you want to expand your love, dedicate your heart to God, and then you can love under God all creation. But next to God or instead of God, your heart becomes very close. Then you can only love in a selfish way. You can love only yourself or maximum your family and children. <laughs> if you want to expand your heart and love more, give your heart to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And when Allah comes to your heart, expands your heart and then you can love everyone. So, Mukhles is not only who says his prayer with pure intention or the fast pure intention, does charity pure intention. Mukhles is the one who has purified his heart, his mind, his very existence. These are the people who call towards Allah's path secretly, privately, or publicly. Means all the time, whether they speak or they are silent, people are inspired by them. They don't need to talk too much. Even if you just are in their presence, you are motivated, you are inspired. You want to become a better person. You want to become a better Muslim. So these are the people that can be counted as muntadr, as people who are waiting actively for Imam Mahdi Sharif. So if we Shia in this time want to be able to be counted as true muntadir for Imam Mahdi Sharif, we need to improve our knowledge. We need to improve our understanding and that is through thinking we need to improve our ability to make proper decisions decisions which are not driven by our comfort or selfish interest decisions which are driven and inspired by purity of the heart and intention Decisions which are for the common good, not for personal good. And one of the things that can help us in all these matters, if we have a good sense of community. In community, you can gain all these things in much more fruitful and productive way. This is not something that we can do it on our own. Community is where you get energy from each other. If I forget, you remind me. And if I remember, you add to my determination. There is a beautiful hadith that says about a good friend. That a good friend is that a nasiyah. If I forget, he or she reminds me. If I remember, he or she would help me. Sisters 
who have good sisters, brothers who have good brothers as their friends. And then when we all as a community have this relation, we help each other. إِنَّ الْإِنسَانَ لَفِي خُسْرِ إِلَّا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَعَمِلُوا الصَّالِحَاتِ وَتَوَاسَوْا بِالْحَقِّ وَتَوَاسَوْا بِالصَّابِرِ Question. Isn't Iman and Amal Salah enough? The answer is yes. Iman and Amal Salah should be enough. So why then says Tawasaw bil haq wa Tawasaw bil sabr? My understanding is the only way you can make sure that you keep and grow your Iman and Amal Salah is when you are enjoining each other. Tawasaw bil haq wa Tawasaw bil sabr is not something added to Iman and Amal Salih is not something extra it's something to make sure that you have Iman and Amal Salih and keep it and grow it in this challenging time of Akhir Zaman how without helping each other and enjoining each other to observe the truth and patience we can survive it's very difficult to survive. Maybe 5% can survive. Maybe 10% can survive. But we cannot 100% survive unless we are together as a community. <laughs>